Ooh. Werewolves on Wheels is the story of a biker gang. One night they go to like a cult place or something like that. A ritual is performed. They're attacked. An hour and a half later, spoilers, one of them becomes a werewolf for five minutes. Why don't you read my fortune? I don't read fortunes, I read cards. Mm. And I don't like to read them for chicks anyway. What did you think of Werewolves on Wheels? Terrible. I think this might be the worst bad yeah. film we've watched in an awful long time. Like, I, I think this is genuinely the worst film. Not even for the YouTube yeah. thing. I think this is the worst film you and I have ever watched. See, the worst thing is that it sets it up. Like, it sets you up really well. Because you're like, right, werewolves in a biker gang. So you think, oh, okay, it's me biker gang doing werewolf shit. Yeah, yeah, I was so excited. Like, yeah, the poster looks like that, right? And it's just incredible. So we were just really pumped for like, oh my God, this movie is going to be like people in yeah. werewolf masks driving around, like doing biker stuff. Yeah. And it's just people driving around doing biker stuff. Yeah. The only kind of shit they get up to is they go to a couple of gas stations, mm. don't pay for their gas. Yeah, yeah. Kind of dick around a little bit and then they camp out for the night and get drunk and have sex. Yeah. Look at all the brothers. Yeah, just like the stars uh. in the sky. Oh, brothers. Yeah. That's all the biker shit they do. There's no, like, cool biker crime spree or... Yeah. You know, there, there is interactions with, like, police There's zero, zero narrative, really. Yeah. Apart from every time they camp... Someone has to die. Somebody dies during the night because, obviously, one of them's turning into a werewolf. But yeah. you don't really... No. We'll see, like, a hand. Yeah. And then it'd be like, ah. Yeah. And, and then like, it's yeah. the next day. They're like, oh, my God. Big Jim's been killed. Yeah. And then it's like, well, off we go. Time for us to ride off somewhere. There's a ritual towards the beginning, mm -hmm. which goes on far too long. See, to me, like I said, when we were watching it, it felt like it was the only part of the film that was scripted. With a heart on fire and a soul on ice, I come to offer you youth and fresh, fresh blood. Well, it's interesting you say that, because I read online last night Hmm. that these guys are a real biker gang yeah. and they were just filmed. Yeah. Which makes so sense the, sense the only that. part of the narrative yeah. is that, that cult bit and obviously yeah. the end hmm. where he's in a werewolf thing. But I assume at the end when he's in a werewolf thing, they'll just say, right, you're a werewolf now, fight each other. Yeah. But there's also, there's a scene when I was, when we were watching it, um, where they're terrorizing a guy at a gas station. Yeah. And I thought to myself, this is real because it's filmed with a zoom lens. Yeah. And it doesn't, the way they're interacting with each other was just like awkward. You guys all come out here and you try to bullshit me all the time. Oh, come on. Pump it, pump. Come on. And I was reading that they did. They just went around terrorizing people and they filmed them. To be honest though, that, that guy wasn't convincing the guy who's being terrorized. So like, I don't think it really worked. I feel like he seemed like he was like terrified hey, we ain't gonna pay you mate but then again I might, it doesn't specifically state that scene it might it have been just like, it might have been like a marketing thing quite possibly yeah, as well it's just I got that feeling watching yeah. it that it was real and then yeah. I wrote up I mean presumably like you know they got the reaction after it's like a Borat kind of thing you know it's like obviously you've got to sign a release yeah. for it to be so they would have gone up to the guy after and say like, hey it's just a film these guys are werewolves sign a release <laughs> <laughs> kind yeah. of thing oh, I was so pissed off that there isn't like there isn't even a single shot that you can see mm. when well, we'll get to the cinematography but there isn't a oh, single gosh. shot of the werewolf on a in bike. broad daylight no, yeah exactly. where you can make out what happens so the poster is a fucking lie from yeah the start. it's interesting to me because obviously we've just watched the french connection and the french connection has real police officers in it mm. the guy who when they go through the car to try and find the drugs that was the real guy who actually did it in the case the real mechanic so when you film real people doing their job it can work yeah for a viewing experience, this is the closest we've been pairing up an A movie and a B movie. Yeah. Because both of them just bored the shit out of me mm. for like different reasons. Yeah. Although French Connection is like kind of objectively a good film. Yeah. Absolutely. And this one is objectively a bad film. Yeah. But like I was just angry watching both yeah. of them and how like unentertaining they were. You think about something like Lawrence of Arabia, mm. you know, the most of this film is like set in the desert. How good Lawrence of Arabia makes a desert look. Yeah, there was... and in this, how fucking unremarkable. Because David Lean looks. looked through the fucking lens when he was yeah. making Lawrence of Arabia, you know. No artistry gone into this film whatsoever. No, no talent. No acting talent. Yeah, I mean, they literally just said, "Whatever, we're just going to film them."
So let's get on to cinematography. Um, I think the shots where they're traveling on their bikes, I think some of that was done quite some of it interesting, was, let's say. I would say it's mostly interesting just because it was like 20 people on bikes yeah. driving around on the highway and that's that's always cool. But to you look can at. kind of tell that it's like filmed from a truck in front sometimes and like when yeah. you're going down these windy roads, it's just kind of, you can see yeah. the, the way it's like the shot itself is interesting. Mm. And they do like a few like a, like weird zoom shots as well when they're riding and stuff as well. Mm. Um, I thought the ritual scene was filmed quite well. There's a lot of like high angle shots and low angle shots and stuff mm. and some interesting things going on with the editing. I think that's just become interesting. Yeah. I don't think it was intentional. You, 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 I, yeah. I genuinely don't think that anybody had any idea what they were doing with this film, particularly when it comes yeah. to cinematography. The very last 20 minutes of the film are filmed in almost complete darkness. Yeah. They have the, 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 the biker gang are trying to attack the werewolf. Mm. And they have like torches and stuff. They have like sticks that are on fire and things. And you can get you can get the idea that the director's like, this is gonna look really cool. Like it's gonna be dark, but it's gonna yeah. be lit up like like some kind of Fra- Frankenstein thing. You just can't fucking see. Yeah, you anything. just can't tell what's going on. No, it's just like there's no tension in there whatsoever because you just can't see what's going on. That's kind of something you really want to try and avoid when you're filming something. Yeah, you know? that's why I think they had no. I think they just thought, yeah, you can film at night. I've seen yeah. it. And yeah, they, yeah, and they didn't think to themselves, "Oh, you have to set up lights." And... I, yeah, I imagine a lot of it when they do that kind of thing is like they think really like hard about how to get the lighting right. Whereas this is just like we're giving them some, we're giving them some fire, and it'll look great. Yeah. Where are those girls? Hey, give me a flashlight, sir. You show me where those girls are in the woods. You put them in the woods. If you were writing a film, Werewolves on Wheels, mm. what would you write? How would you make it like? How would you turn this into a good film? Werewolves like first... first night. Yeah. Werewolves in daytime. Yeah. So screw werewolf mythology. Yeah. And it's werewolf bikers yeah. going around terrorizing people, trying to work their way. They go back to the ritual place yeah. as werewolves, but it's not there. Yeah, exactly. So they have to like terrorize the local area to find out, you know, like where did those monks go? You know, blah, blah, yeah. blah. And they have to work their way back to wherever the monks yeah. have gone. And when they get to the monks, they turn out to be werewolves, but they're in monk robes, so you can tell the difference between like biker werewolves yeah. and monk werewolves, mm-hmm. and they have like an epic battle. One of the things you really could have done with this is like kind of like a comedy stuff as well, because like it has to be ridiculous. Suddenly, all the bikers realizing they're werewolves has been fucking hilarious, and like you know, testing out the new powers and stuff, and it's like, oh, yeah. hey, no, I've got a giant dick and stuff, and it's really hairy. Yeah, yeah. Like, you could do that kind of yeah, shit. Yeah, there would definitely be... be like you know a guy like looking in the mirror and being like, oh no, yeah. And one of them's trying to like fuck an ox or something because he's like a dog now or something. You know, it could have been like a gross out comedy. It could have been really fun. Sure. Oh, there would have to be a uh, female hairy boob shot. Yeah. Like, oh my God. And then the guy's like, I kind of like it. Yeah. See, that would have been wonderful. Yeah. Maybe not wonderful, but that would have been what I was expecting. Yeah, that was exactly what I was expecting. Because this is played too straight and it's like fucking werewolves in a biker gang is a fucking great idea. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> Would you recommend Werewolves on Wheels to somebody? No. Damn. <clears throat> no, it's bollocks. I mean, it's it is like a middle finger down. To be honest with you, it's just boring. Yeah. With a concept like that, making a boring film, I think, is unforgivable. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. How do you like fuck up the concept of Werewolves on Wheels? 